What is tefillah? What does tefillah mean? Some people will ask you, why do I have to doubt to them? Hashem is Baruch. He knows my needs. And here, where we have a misinterpretation of what the purpose of tefillah is. The purpose of tefillah is not to ask Atodish Baruch for our needs. We don't hand in to Atodish Baruch a shopping list. The purpose of tefillah, yes, he does know our needs, but he wants to hear our voice. Hashmi'in Yeshoylech, to create a relationship between us and Hashem. And that's what he wants. He wants to become near to us and close to us. The Chazal tell us that the words of Tvila, the way they were set up by the Anshech, Nesses Hagdoilo, are creating channels through which our needs come down to this world. Every Tvila creates a channel. And that's why these channels have to be pure, they have to be in order, and they have to follow the derech that Anshe Knesset HaGdoilo established it for us. The more a person puts effort in Tvila, the more he puts thought in Tvila, the better are the channels, and there's a bigger chance that his uh, batoshes, his needs, will be fulfilled. And especially the, the need and the batosha, ach kir vasalakim litoif. One of the most dramatic moments in the history of Klavi soil was at the Free Asiyamsuf. Imagine, one side is a storming sea. One side, power comes with its soldiers, and people see that those same people that enslaved them are, are right after them, and they have no place to turn. So it says, by Tzartu Bnei Yisrael, El Hashem HaKadosh Baruch heard that Yidin are calling out to him. But HaKadosh Baruch said, Moshe Rabbeinu, Mati Tzakalai, why are you screaming to me? Why are you calling to me? Then what should they do? HaKadosh Baruch said, Hashem Elochem Lochem. HaKadosh Baruch will fight your war. When? Be'atem Tachrishun, if you'll be silent. A lot of Tzadik Yehado told us, if we want our tefillahs to be nishtabel, it has to be ve'atem tachrishon. There has to be a total silence in shul, and in Eretz Yisrael they have a project called ve'atem tachrishon. It's a beautiful thing now that we come together to a, a Morkan, where they're trying to instill in us, in the United States of America, the concept of ve'atem tachrishon. Matitzak alai. Why should we call to Hashem if we are not Ve'atem Tachrishon? But if we will always fulfill the command of HaKadosh Baruch of Ve'atem Tachrishon, then Matit Sakelai, then He will hear our calling, He will hear our tefillahs, which we did so badly. There's so many Yidin who need so many Yeshuas, health, Parnose, Shiduchim. Each and every one of these Batoshes will be heard in Mitzah Hashem, if we will do our share, we will daven. We will daven with all our heart, but when we have to be silent, we will be silent.